The Wanderers coming off a 4-3 win over Wellington in a seven-goal thriller, and they back it up against Perth on Friday night. Beanie looking sharp. Caught in possession. Was backers by his opposite number. And Fornaroli kept out by Margush. And another lesson for Keanu Backus robbed of possession. Matta pushing on. The ball into the feet of Duke. Now Russell back to Duke. And Abini saved by Reddy. And then Troisi with basically an empty net blazed it into Rosette. Yeah, on the half volley. And great movement and enthusiasm from Mitch Duke was involved. Wilmering in space on that left-hand side. Nata can use him if he wants to and does. And there's numbers in the area for the delivery. And a beanie on the turn! Kept out by Reddy again. And Bacchus headed off at the pass by Kilkenny. What a night Liam Reddy is having. Brilliant save. That's point blank as well. Duke not giving up here. He's onside. Takes on the strike. Oh, what a save by Liam Reddy when he has to. When they're onside, he's keeping them out. Yeah, definitely onside this one. And that's a fingertip save. And Mitch Duke made it harder for himself, didn't he? Because he's, he's in, he's one-on-one, -on -one, and his first touch takes him away from the goal. Dorrance, little no-looker for Abini. Duke trying to place it. Bacchus punches one. Intended for Tate Russell, you fancy. Here comes Mitch Duke. Finally, the frustration is over right at the end of the first half. Mitch Duke again at Bank West. 11 in 17 at this venue. And there's no offside. No, there's no offside in that. And a thumping header. What about the leap? And Duke's onside here. Oh, what a touch. He's around Bodnar. Mitch Duke against Reddy. What a finish. He scores either side of half time. Mitch Duke back in form, back in Western Sydney. And it's 2 0. The Wanderers over the glory. And that long diagonal catches them out again. It's a quick counter. And the young boy Bodnar got done by experience there. Wilmering, first time ball out to Duke. Bacchus bounces it right through the middle. They're through again here. Abini has options. And the challenge came from Latchford. Now he's got a tap in. James Troisi. Flag goes up late. Interesting. Is it, the, is it for Troisi? Or it is must it be Abini? against Abini earlier in the move. Otherwise, the goal will stand. Goal stands. Glory Latchman does his best. Comes off a beanie, but Trois is behind him. So that was quite an easy one for the VAR. Castro. On Bacchus. Late run made here by Wilson into the area. Well found by Ingham. And big chance here for Keo. And what a block it is by the man who leads the comp in block shots. That's one of his best, Ziggy Gordon. Just had to wait a little bit too long, but that's superb defending from Ziggy Gordon. There's decent signs here for the glory. If they can get one back, they can yet make a game of this. But, uh, the Wanderers remain a real threat. What a ball, Troisi. Duke is around ready. There's an empty net. Oh, the composed finish just wouldn't go in to complete the hat trick. Just the angle got too, too much for him, too difficult. Left it behind. For the first time since 2017, Western Sydney beat the Perth Glory, and they have done so emphatically. Mitch Duke with a double, James Troisi with a tap in, and things are looking up for the Wanderers this season. They're up to second after taking six points out of six in the space of five days. That epic against Wellington. 4-3 win on Monday night. And a much more comfortable 3-0 success in Friday night football.